<laughs> What's up, bikers? I'm Johnny Thompson from Fit for Racing, and this is Ann Cooper from Fit for Racing. And today, I'm going to explain the pros workout. Adam Brayton, Jamie Law going head to head on three different workouts. Watch this. <laughs> first workout of the day was a bit of a warm-up lots of movement increasing reps on back squats so it was 10 15 20 25 back squats in between each one of those bear crawl out five left hand single arm rows with a twist five on the right and then bear crawl back so the volume of the squats was increasing and in between the squats We've thrown in some really good movement. Bear crawls are really fantastic movement for moving through the shoulders and the hips and get that body rotating around on the floor. Upper body pulling, so single arm ring rows with a twist today. So this is gonna help that scapula, so the shoulder blade setting back into the upper back, creating some strength and stability there. And with the twist, also working the obliques and the rotational stuff through the midline. This combination was good work through and a good warm up for 100 press-ups on dumbbells and 100 bent over rows with dumbbells. Breaking the reps up however you like. So Adam and Jamie broke these up into tens. They absolutely blasted through it, keeping the form nice, tension through the midline. So if you use a barbell, it's quite easy to pull harder with your stronger arm, creating more imbalance. So by using dumbbells in this bent over row position, it's more demanding on your weaker side. And the final burner of a workout was 400 meter run, 21 dumbbell thrusters. 400 meter run, 15 dumbbell thrusters. 400 meter run, nine dumbbell thrusters. So the run is very gassy. There's no let up in tension on these thrusters. And having dumbbells instead of a bar, again, like I explained in the bent over rows, this is gonna create lots of tension. The dumbbells are gonna wanna pull you forwards and it makes it a really awful movement. It's really good for the hips and core stability because these dumbbells out the front, there's no easy place to rest that on your body like there is on a bar. So this is absolutely a capacity builder, very high intensity and absolutely crush the guys. Nice core finisher, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, lots of different stuff. Uh, side planks, bird dogs, flutter kicks and plank is always a good thing to finish off with some core stability and core focus movements. Try and avoid too many crunches and that kind of movement that's gonna shorten your hip flexors and create some imbalance through your midline. As soon as you have that imbalance through your midline, it often gives you hip dysfunction. So for you guys, it's probably best to stick to more static holds, isometric work, bracing through your midline, because what you're gonna be doing on your bikes is resisting the rotation and influence of gravity. So that in itself is bracing through your midline. That was the workout that the pros did today. So if you like what you saw, then give us a like and a share on Facebook. Follow our YouTube page. We've got loads of information on there, loads of videos, and we have no intention of stopping. If you want to up it to the next level and become a more winner rider, follow a bike sports specific program, whether it's downhill, enduro, uh, super bike even. We've got those programs online, fitforracing.com. And that's that for this video. Until next time, peace. Who's Got some fresh new young talent doing some things that I know you haven't heard before. One, two, three, listen.